I think I've come up with my first uh, flaw with the MacBook Pro M1, the M1 MacBook Pro. So as you can see, I've got it set up, uh, hard drive into computer, into hub, into uh, external monitor here. And there's a thing I'm having a bit of trouble with on Final Cut Pro, which should be really simple. I'm gonna try and recreate it. Possibly it won't work this time, but uh, I'll give you an idea of, of what the issue is with simple rendering on Final Cut Pro. So, okay, so we're recording the screen now, and I'll show you the problem in Final Cut Pro that I've got here. So, close it down. Now, I'll have this up as well, so you can see the activity monitor here as well. Just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so memory usage, uh, we can see down here. So, in Final Cut Pro, open it up, and it's just a simple text editing issue that I'm having. So, uh, let's just start uh, a new file. I'm going to copy a background here. So let's just go copy file, new project, text issue. Okay, so in here, I'm going to put in uh, this here. Am I missing something here? Is there a reason why this is not showing? Okay, that's not working. Let's try another one. Look, looks like it's going really good, showing you this, this problem here. <laughs> what about a normal video file? Physical memory has really gone up here, um, but uh, nothing happening here. Okay, let's, let's just ignore that. And let's just uh, move to trash. Okay, let, let's ignore that one. Let's, I'm just, I'm gonna start another one. Uh, a video of me unboxing the computer. So file, new project, unboxing. Okay, let's, let's, uh, is there something wrong here? Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna quit, because that's, just not working now. Oh, and we've got this spinning bulb. So this is something which I haven't experienced so far. Over the last few while, it's been working absolutely flawlessly. And I've now got the spinning ball of death. Hmm. Hmm. Final Cut Pro not responding. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do... Force quit. Okay, it's done that. So Final Cut Pro's having a bad day this morning. Um, not good. Let's let's give it another try. Open up. This is the latest. Okay, so here's and and now it shows it. Now it shows it. Okay, so uh, is that what I did? No, I did unboxing. Okay, so we've got this. Fine, we've got the video. Playing fine. <laughs> now, uh, my problem is, is I've been trying to add some uh, text effects in this. So let's just give me like, I'm, all I need is about 10 seconds. So oh, I'll go 15 seconds, delete all the rest of this, zoom into that. Okay, so I'm going to add in uh, a very simple text, custom text. Bring that in on top of the image here. And we'll go up to the publishing or the parameters up here. Uh, let's get it. 2D style, let's get it nice and heavy. I like heavy, let's get it even bigger. Uh, let's call it uh, un unboxing. Uh, now I am going to change, uh, so that, that's all good. Save that there. Uh, let's see, what can we change here? Don't. So the blend mode, I'm gonna change this to uh, stencil luma, so it effectively we just see the background um, of the uh, so the, the text is see-through. 
So that should be cool. So let's just check up here. Yes, it's all rendered. I only need 10 seconds of this just to make it a little bit quicker. Oh, let's go for 10 seconds there and then zoom in. Let's see the rendering up there. Shoo, nice and fast. That's, that's how it's meant to be. Okay, that's good. Now in this unboxing shot, I want to make it, let's make it a little bit bigger. So let's zoom in to there. Now what I'm gonna do is I want to crop right into the text. So go zoom straight in. So let's, on the text, uh, let's get the display bit. Can't remember what that's called. And uh, we'll go to crop. I'm going to crop. Let's go zoom. Let's go 25%. And, ah, right, I'll have to change that to, I'll just change it back to normal. So from here, one key for it, or one key point, and then a second key point here. Then I'm going to zoom all the way in to, to the middle of the X. And then let's go view that, maybe 75%. Is that going to be big enough? Not quite enough. Just going to make it a little bit bigger, tighter there even. There. So that should mean you go zoom into that shot there. Yep, let's go back to, uh, where is it, Stencil Luma. So here is rendering, rendering, done. Zooming in. So Shoom. Cool. That's, that's what I was looking for. I'm happy uh, with that. Let's just see it again from here. Hi. Unboxing. No. Nice. Okay, no problem there so far. Now what I want to do is also have it come in from the side, stay there, then zoom in. So we'll start here. This is where I'm going to go. Uh, first of all, let's get it to maybe 50%, taking up the screen. Uh, the fact that I've got this extra text box below is annoying me. Okay, so from here, uh, go to the distort function, add a keyframe there, and then the previous keyframe, a little bit, a couple of frames earlier, I'm just going to have it come from off screen from over here. So it should zoom in, hold for a second, and then um, zoom in. So click done. Rendering really slow now. Really. Yes, I have I have recreated uh, my issue. I don't know why. It is, is it doing it? 79%, 80%. Wow. Something about the distort feature just kills the MacBook Pro M1. And you can see the little timeline area here, or the indicator here of what's been rendered. Even though that nothing's having to change there, really struggling for like a 10 second clip. Not the performance I was expecting here. So there's definitely some, and oh, let's just see activity monitor. What's happening, is it all the GPU is up to 93%, so the GPU was doing a lot there. Okay, so let's play that. So you could zoom in and zoom in there. Yeah, let's see. It's something about that, something about the GPU. So let's go, let's just add in another... If I just, if I just move the keyframes from there to there, there, and crop that in. Ooh, got my first ever video frames were dropped during playback. Ooh, that's something which I wasn't expecting. Let's just watch the system. So if we click OK, it will start rendering. It's rendering really fast. But then it's absolutely grinding this last bit here. What's so difficult about that? Wow, okay, so that was painfully slow there. Don't know what's going on. Something to do with the text using too much graphics power or something, but that was painfully slow. Considering I can export a 35 minute HD video in less than six minutes to just render six seconds of text moving in and out, that was painful. And and as you saw at the start, it's, it's failed on multiple other videos. So if I, let's just, let's just see if I can really make it fail. Close that, 
Let's just add that to a previous video. Uh, unboxing the MacBook Pro. Let's add it there. And that's all on better performance as well. Ooh, crashed. Don't know what's going on, but this is is it's suddenly become painfully slow. Just from adding text. This is only a one minute video. See, once it gets into the actual video stuff, it's going fast. But everything beforehand... That's me singing my songs to my kids before they go to bed. Let's just say I want to copy that and let's just go add it over here. Again, drops. Let's see how long it takes to render. 26, 63, 64, 60. My goodness. Yeah. So something about adding text with a couple of um, transit, not transitions, but uh, you know, crop and distortion added to it grinds on Final Cut Pro. There you go. That's the first issue I've found so far.